Hi, my name is Adam G, and I'm one of the trial attorneys here at the Ziff Law Firm in Elmira, New York. This is an introduction to the class I'm going to be teaching for Solo Practice University on motorcycle law. Now, the law that I'm going to be talking about is going to be specific to New York motorcycle cases, but the principles and marketing techniques that I will discuss over the course of this program uh, are going to apply uh, no matter what state that you may practice in. Um, I developed a specialty in motorcycle cases because over the years of my practice we saw an uptick in the number of those kinds of cases that we were seeing come through our doors. Uh, certainly over the last few years for a lot of reasons the uh, popularity of motorcycling has increased and with an increase of, in motorcycles on the road consequently there was a lot more motorcycles involved in collisions. And one of the things that uh, you'll find out very quickly in handling motorcycle cases is that there is no such thing as a, as a minor motorcycle accident. They are all serious uh, and consequently the injuries tend to, be, uh, tend to be very significant. Because of that they can be very lucrative and there is a lot of competition for motorcycle cases. There are certain attorneys that uh, advertise uh, seeking those kinds of clients uh, very aggressively. Uh, and what we're going to do is give you the information through this program that will allow you to compete with the big boys when it comes to uh, marketing and successfully handling these motorcycle cases. Over the course of this program we're going to talk about uh, at least six topics in depth. The first topic that we'll be discussing will be the screening of a potential motorcycle case. Uh, motorcycles, uh, motorcycle cases may look on the surface a lot like automobile cases, regular automobile cases, but after you've handled a few of them you quickly find out that they are not and we're going to discuss uh, a lot of the ways that these cases are different and the different outlook that you as an attorney must have in order to handle these cases successfully. We're also going to be talking about the investigation of motorcycle collisions. Uh, they are very different uh, from automobile collisions. We're going to talk about the ways that they're different and some of the things that you need to know in order to make sure that your investigation of them is as complete and as thorough and as accurate as possible. One of the other topics we're going to talk about is pre-suit negotiation of the motorcycle case. Uh, there's a lot of prejudices that apply to bikers. Uh, and those are shared by members of the public as well as some of those within the, uh, the insurance industry. And what we're going to talk about are, are ways and manners of presenting your case that will help you to overcome some of those prejudices that an adjuster may have and help you to uh, successfully negotiate that case. In the event that that uh, negotiation fails, uh, we're going to talk about discovery tips and techniques um, which are going to apply specifically to motorcycle cases. There's a lot of things that are the same uh, between a motorcycle case and a normal automobile case but there's a lot of ways in which they're different and we're going to talk about those and uh, out of us. Uh, the fifth topic that we'll be talking about is the trial of the motorcycle case. Um, we've already, uh, as I've already mentioned, uh, there are a lot of prejudices that apply to, uh, to bikers and consequently motorcycle collisions. Uh, and when you start dealing with juries, uh, th those people that hold those, some of those prejudices are, are going to certainly be in your jury panel. We're going to talk about ways of bringing out those prejudices so that you can successfully uh, preclude some of those jurors from sitting on your panel and about how to present your case in a manner which will allow someone who is not familiar with bikers or, or motorcycles or necessarily uh, looks favorably upon bikers so that they will be able to uh, render a favorable verdict in your case. And the final topic that we're going to be talking about is going to be marketing to bikers. Uh, marketing to bikers is significantly different uh, than marketing to uh, general automobile cases. Uh, we're going to talk about some of, the tr some of the tips and techniques that I've developed over the course of building my own motorcycle practice so that you can compete against the 800-pound uh, the gorillas who are running the commercials constantly in your jurisdiction so that you can uh, recruit your fair share of those cases. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the program. And